G'day, I'm Mark, the designer and builder of Ermin Sharm and Meditation Pyramids and Connectors. This is one of a short series of videos that I've created to help you choose, design and build your own pyramid. I hope they're helpful. In this video, I want to talk about material choice. The reality is you can make your own meditation pyramid from any material. Some are practical, others impractical, some expensive options and some not so expensive. So what are the realistic options? From my point of view, as a pyramid builder, the choice comes down to three materials, wood, plastic or metal. As for the shape of the material, a cylinder in the form of a tube or rod seems to be the most practical, though a square, triangular or rectangular cross section is possible. So let's assume we decide upon a tube or a rod. A tube is hollow while rod is solid. Now weight and cost become the primary issue. From a cost-weight strength analysis, tube wins hands down. The weight and cost are considerably reduced, while the loss of any inherent strength is minimal in comparison. Now we have a choice between three different materials. Timber tubing or pipe is rare and probably not that strong. Solid round timber comes in the form of dowel. Think of a broomstick, for example. And plastic rod and tube are abundant, especially with the use of PVC and acrylic. And the metal options that are most commonly used are copper tubing and aluminium or aluminium tubing. Now, every pyramid that I've been asked to build has been made from either copper or aluminium tubing. Now, the cost, strength and aesthetic quality of the finished product sets it apart from all other materials. And that's why you find the majority of meditation pyramids available on the net are made from one of these two materials. So which one? Well, copper is by far the most popular. There's something magical about copper that really attracts people. It's been around since antiquity and has been associated with well-being and spirituality for thousands of years. And despite being the most abundant material on earth, aluminium was only extracted from bauxite less than 200 years ago. So its uses and applications have been developed within the context of the Industrial Revolution. And aluminium won't have the same cachet as copper to some people. However, it certainly shouldn't be dismissed as a practical option. And as for maintenance, copper tarnishes and aluminium doesn't. Handling a copper pyramid will cause it to tarnish due to the oils and salts from perspiration in our hands. Now I recommend you wear white cotton gloves or food preparation gloves when handling your pyramid. Aluminium won't show up the dark tarnish stains that appear on copper. However, gloves are still a good idea to avoid the fingerprint marks. If your pyramid is exposed to the weather, then aluminium will hold its lustre where copper will darken. The good news is a vigorous rub with a fine grade steel wool will remove any tarnish marks left by your hands and restore the copper back to its full luster. A copper weighs more than aluminium. For example, a two meter by two meter or seven foot by seven foot copper pyramid weighs almost nine kilograms or 19 pounds. And the same pyramid in aluminium is only four kilograms or nine pounds. If you're going to transport your pyramid around, this may be a consideration. And cost is your next consideration. If you decide to purchase your own tube, you'll need to check the price and availability of materials in your neck of the woods. And the price of those materials can fluctuate. At the moment in Australia, the retail price of copper is about four to five times more than aluminium. Now the length, diameter of tube and wall thickness will be your final consideration. As a general rule, the larger your pyramid, then the larger the tube and the thicker the wall thickness. For example, that two by two metre or seven foot square pyramid, it works well with three quarter inch or 19 mil copper tubing, but doesn't work so well with half inch or 12 millimetre copper tubing. The wall thickness of this size tube doesn't support its own weight over that distance from the base corner to the apex, as well as the 19 mil or three quarter inch tube. You'll find it will have a slight sag in the centre of the tube length. And over a smaller distance, like one metre or three feet, it's not an issue. And because aluminium is a lot lighter, it can span large distances with a smaller diameter tube compared to copper. Well, I encourage you to research the internet to see what's available. Now I can supply you with the necessary materials, or you can purchase it yourself. And you'll find another short presentation of mine called 
ordering your tube, which will help with that process. Thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation. Make sure you make the opportunity to check out my other videos in this series. You'll be able to make an informed choice and then eventually choose the pyramid that's right for you. You know, having your own meditation pyramid brings you into a very special community of like-minded people. We can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and the website shown below. I encourage you to join with us and become part of a very special, unique group who enjoy the benefits of pyramid meditation. Wishing you many blessings and good health. Bye for now.